Greetings from Tokyo. I'm back. Got a little interesting job here. I have a stand here. Uh, I made this a couple years ago, maybe three years ago, and it's actually a stand for doing a thing they hear in Japan they call mochitsuki, which is they take this rice and they steam it and then they put it in this kind of wooden pot and then they pound it with this big wooden hammer and they make it into this kind of rice paste stuff that's called mochi. It's a cultural thing. Um, what happened was we were doing this as a community group and of course all the little kids wanted to take part but the hammers and the size of the, the rice bowl th or the wooden bowl thing were like adult size. So I had a big chunk of wood that was a uh, keaki which is like a Japanese elm which is really hard and I turned that into the wooden bowl thing they call the kine I think. Um, usu? No, usu. Usu is the bottom piece, the kine is the hammer uh, I think. Anyways uh, I, so I made it. The problem was it was a little bit too low to the ground so I very quickly whipped up this little stand for them and it's just made out of, out of like three quarter inch plywood and uh, two years on well it has a problem. It, uh, it broke. <laughs> so I mean it was just a thing that I whipped up quickly and we didn't know what height to make it so I made it like two different heights so it's either that height off the ground or you could flip it over and it's that height off the ground depending on the kids I guess depending on whatever. So they like the basic design, but of course the 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 the, the joint here that I used was I, I just used the uh, three quarter inch plywood to make my mortise and tenon, and of course the 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 tenon is quite small, and I ended up it ended up breaking. So I'm going to make one out of hardwood, and I'm going to make it out of some uh, one inch thick hardwood. It's kind of like a like a butcher block slab thing that I have left over from a job, and it's oak, so it's very strong. And I'm going to make it in such a way that I have like two one inch pieces that I put the, the, the joint in, the tenon in, in, and the, um, um, the mortise in, and then I glue them together. Just kind of a simple thing because I don't really have a, a dedicated mortising machine. And uh, yeah, I'll take you along for the ride here. So I'll put a picture in here somewhere or here or down, probably maybe here. Where of the actual thing so you can see what it looks like or what this looked like with the big wooden bowl thing on top of it. I don't think I have any actual video of, them, of it in use. I have video of other ones in use, but not that one. Anyways, uh, I'll just take you along for the ride, so uh, stay tuned. Here's a close-up of the old stand, which is obviously broken. This is a flip-up table that I built for my saw stop. Saves a lot of space and it works really well. really like it. Simple design. And it just works. Oh, cutting stock. Glued up some pieces for the crossbar that sits uh, on the bottom. Here I am uh, putting the first dado or groove cut in there. That's uh, so the two pieces fitting together. The joint was a little loose, but it's okay. Here I am doing the tenon over and over. This is making the mortises. And here's the kind of shoulder joint on the mortises. Cleaning up the glue. These are the legs that have the mortises and the shoulder kind of mortise thing. I don't know what you call that. Cutting the uh, slots for the wedges. These would be wedge tenons. Rounding the corners of the legs over, just so they won't chip and it'll be a little nicer to handle. Easier to do this now than later. Making wedges for the wedge tenon. Simple little jig works really well. Okay, did a dry run, now I'm going to do the glue up. Regular old wood glue. I kind of put too much glue on, but that's okay, it wipes off. Too, too much is better than too little, I guess. I marked them well so I couldn't put it together backwards. Now clamp it up. Wipe off all that excess glue. Clamp it up and then bang in the wedges. Check for square. Put glue on the wedges and 
Copity top top. Those wedges are never moving. The tenons aren't going anywhere either. Here I am drilling the holes. I put four dowels in the middle, kind of in the middle of the cross, so that it would uh, hold together for sure. Doing the glue up of the two sets of legs. Just uh, pound some 10 millimeter dowels in there. Two from the top, two from the bottom, obviously on opposite parts. Wipe off all the glue and get my flush cut saw out. Yeah, ended up with the legs being slightly different length. I had to take the belt sander to the bottoms of the legs and make them all the same length, but it worked out fine. Okay, I'm done. This is, I think, a huge improvement over this. This is just uh, three quarter inch plywood with three quarter inch plywood joints. It was never intended to last. I mean, I made it only because uh, they suddenly needed something to get the, the Usu a little bit higher off the ground. So, I mean, it broke. Obviously, that wasn't good. This one here I've made now, it's uh, hardwood. It's all hardwood. There's no nails or screws in it anywhere. There's uh, some uh, tenons that I, I have put wedges in. I guess wedge tenons. And in the middle I put dowels, four dowels, to hold everything together. It's uh, made out of this kind of butcher block kind of stuff. It's like, uh, it's oak. And I think in the store they call it actually Siberian oak. One of the things I know about this stuff is it's really, really hard. It's a little bit difficult to work with at times because the grain kind of runs, you know, because it's just a bunch of pieces put together, or finger jointed together. But it's it's pretty solid stuff. It's fairly weighty, and uh, yeah, it's I think it's pretty good. the uh, The big advantage for strength, I think, is because of the the wedge tenons. There's no way the legs can go that way, and because I, I put like a shoulder joint in here, um, I'll insert a close up here of it somewhere. And uh, there's just no way. I mean, I think you could you could pound on this thing with a with a sledgehammer. You'd have to actually break the wood to break it apart. Now I'm pretty sure. And, I mean, basically that's what they're doing. The usu goes in here. That's kind of like a big wooden bowl made out of a solid chunk of of a log. And they take this big large wooden hammer and they hammer the the steamed rice to make it into this stuff called mochi. I don't know if I have any video of that. I might have some somewhere, but I don't have any video of them using this because I've actually never seen it in use. I made the set, the kids set for the kids, and then every weekend that they had this thing going on, they have it doing it in October, I was working, so I just couldn't go and see it. But uh, anyways, uh, hopefully that solves their problem. All I got to do is put my touch mark on it and uh, put, throw some oil stain on it, and it'll be finished. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys all watching, and uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, take care. Thanks a lot.